subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will be studying about algor mortis, introduction to what algor mortis is, the factors affecting it, the site to record the temperature and the medical legal importance of algor mortis. Now, if you want this PPT, then you can visit my website. I have uploaded this PPT over there and also there are many more notes. The link is provided in the description box. Let's get started. Now, the term algor mortis is derived from a Latin word from two Latin words, algor and mortis. Algor means coolness and mortis means death. So, in algor mortis, what happens is there is cooling of the dead body and hence the name algor mortis coolness death right algor mortis is also known as chill of death then the algor mortis is usually the first sign of death algor mortis after algor mortis comes liver mortis and at the end comes rigor mortis so this is how these are all the stages according to the time they occur right so the algor mortis is usually the first sign of death beyond the obvious signs the algor mortis is the first sign usually and then it is followed by liver and then the rigor mortis now what happens in this is there is fall of temperature that is the body starts to cool down and this occurs due to the cessation of energy production now since the body is dead so there is going to be no energy production and hence there go there's going to be no heat production in the body and therefore the temperature is going to go down and also due to the inactivity of the heat regulating centers after somatic death so due to uh, somatic death that is the cells of your body are dying so there is no heat regulation occurring in your body so there is no maintenance of heat there is no homeostasis so the, the we get to see a fall in the temperature of the cadaver then there is loss of body heat which occurs by three methods that is conduction radiation and evaporation when the body is in the atmospheric environment and by conduction and convection when the body is in water so when the body is in water the loss of heat is going to occur uh, due to, by two methods that is conduction and convection whereas uh, if the body is left in the uh, atmospheric environment that is when it is not in water then the loss of body heat is going to be occurring by evaporation conduction and radiation all right so how the cooling starts is that first of all the surface temperature that is the outer temperature of the body that starts to fall rapidly for some time and after that the inner core temperature starts to fall all right because the outside body is in direct contact with the um, atmospheric temperature, atmospheric conditions and hence that temperature falls first and then starts the inner core temperature decrement. Now if you look at the curve for algor mortis then it is a sigmoid shaped curve or we can say by exponential inverted S shaped curve. So you can see in this picture this somehow looks like an inverted S right. So now let's understand this graph initial plateau we first we set uh, get to see initial plateau that is this particular area is the initial plateau and this is the isothermic phase that means the temperature is constant iso means constant thermic means temperature so isothermic in isothermic phase the temperature remains constant initially this happens this indicates that there is no loss of heat or fall of the inner core temperature for the first one to two hours this is the initial phase now this is due to the thickness of the skin and the subcutaneous tissue which are good insulators of heat so initially the temperature doesn't change for like one to two hours this is because our skin is thick and it has tissues like subcutaneous tissues fatty tissues which are good insulators of heat so they are able to maintain the heat inside for quite a while of time then after some hours what happens is that we get to see a fall in the temperature so then the real fall starts like here you can see constantly the uh, temperature is falling down and it achieves a regular linear and constant pattern over here regular linear and constant pattern you get to see and this is known as the 
intermediate phase the first was isothermic phase then comes the intermediate phase then gradually it becomes slow and the temperature of the as in temperature of the environment is reached now when the temperature of the body and the temperature of the environment is equal then this fall of temperature stops and then we get to see a constant temperature which is the temperature of the surrounding environment only the last part of the curve that is the terminal phase so this one is the terminal phase is slightly above the baseline which is indicative of the bacterial activities so this was all about the curve the sigmoid curve of algal mortis now let's study about the various factors that affect the algal mortis first is the environmental temperature which is the most important factor now the rate of the fall of the body is directly proportional to the difference between the temperature of the dead body and the environmental temperature so this means that the more is the difference between the temperature of the body and the temperature of the environment like for example if the temperature of the body is like 35 and the environment temperature is uh, 10 degrees so the temperature is going to fall at a much faster rate all right then is air movement air movement over the surface of the dead body causes a quick fall of temperature due to increased evaporation of the body fluids now when the air moves or the wind moves over the surface of the body then what happens it it helps it it helps increase the evaporation process now when the evaporation process occurs the cooling of the body and the temperature falls more quickly now obviously if a body is kept in a well ventilated room that will cool more rapidly than the body that is kept in a closed room because a well ventilated ventilated room is going to have good air movement which is going to lead to evaporation as i just said then comes humidity cooling is more rapid in a humid rather than a dry atmosphere since moist air is better conductor of heat then comes the media of disposal how the body is disposed where the body is disposed now cooling is earliest in water and late in buried bodies so the ratio of rates of fall of temperature in the three media that is water air and soil is 4 is to 2 is to 1 the rate is thus maximum in water that is four times faster then moderate in air that is two time faster and just one in the buried body then the cooling is also going to be dependent on the build of the cadaver the obese bodies they cool slowly because they have fatty layer over the body due to which uh, are good heat insulators uh, which lead to delay in the cooling of the body and lean bodies they rapidly cool down since fat is a bad conductor of and it is a good insulator of heat but it is a bad conductor of heat and lean people do not have that much fat on their body so they are going to their bodies are going to cool down faster then comes age and sex now rate of loss is more in children than the elderly compared to adults because the surface area of the body is more in relation to the body volume female retain body heat for a comparatively longer period of time because of the subcutaneous fatty tissues now let's study about the site of the body that is used to record the inner core temperature the most important and the most reliable one is rectum 8 to 10 cm above the anus then external auditory meters can also be used subhepatic area can also be used nostrils can also be used and intracerebral area can also be used but mostly rectum is the area that is used in order to in order to record the inner core temperature if we talk about the medical legal importance of elgar mortis then it is a sure short sign of death it helps in the estimation of time of death also rapid cooling of the dead body delays the process of rigor mortis and decomposition if the heat is preserved for a longer period of time then both the processes start early so in a way algal mortis and rigor mortis are opposite to each other if we compare it with respect to temperature if the temperature is high that is if the heat is more then the rigor mortis and the decomposition are going to set in faster whereas if the 
rapid cooling of dead body is occurring that if the temperature is cold outside then this is going to delay rigor mortis and decomposition so this was all about algal mortis i hope you understood everything about it if you have any doubts then do let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to help also if you found this video to be informative then please like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you